Welcome to a special preview of the Master English Conversation 2.0 Masterclass Video Lesson. This unique program helps you become a confident, fluent English speaker automatically by introducing the pieces of native English, like pronunciation and slang, and then showing you how they work in native conversational English. Before watching this lesson, click on the video below to master the grammar you'll see frequently in this Masterclass video lesson. After you've mastered the grammar, watch this lesson and notice how much easier the native English becomes. You will actually feel yourself becoming more fluent and you'll be excited to study more. Enjoy the lessons! Well, hello and welcome to this month's Master English Conversation Masterclass oh, video no. lesson. Okay. So we're starting a new set of lessons and Richard, my friend Richard here, he's joining me. He lives very close to me, a good friend of mine. Uh, and so I'll let him introduce himself. But for this month, it should be an interesting lesson. Yes. Hello, hello. My name is Richard Richardson. I am from America, from New York City, 26 years old. And I live in Japan. Nice to meet you. Well, before we get into anything yes. uh, in particular about the yes. lesson, how have you been? It's been a while since I've seen you. I've, I've not been good. I have yeah. not been good, yeah. I know the uh, school year started again. It's, it's, it's been going all right or not so great? I have some new teachers. Yeah. And uh, they're nice. Yeah. But they do things that I don't understand yeah. <laughs> and it makes me frustrated uh -huh. and I feel that they should think yeah. before they act yeah. and then I, I've, I have been in a bad mood all week. Yeah. Yes. Really? Yes. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. That's nah, okay. But hopefully we can do something about yes. that today. Yes, it's hopefully. a beautiful day today, nice and sunny. It is. Well, how can we make you feel better? What, what do you think we can do to, <laughs> to improve your, your situation? What, what do you do when you're feeling bad, you're in a bad mood? What, what perks you up? What makes you feel better? I cook. You cook? I cook. I see. Well, as it just so happens, yes. I'd love to be talking about cooking this month in this lesson, oh, so okay. I mean if you'd like to cook something with us, he's mm -hmm. a much better cook than I am as well. I don't really do much cooking. I, I do used like to, be to a bake. Chef. Oh, you really used to be a chef. I used to work in a, uh, a cafeteria at yeah. a school. Yes. Very nice, yes. very nice. So I had a, a restaurant. I don't know if I told yes, you that yes. story before. I wasn't such a great cook, but I learned a lot. Yes. But since I have a, a fellow professional here, then you can hopefully teach me, <laughs> teach everyone here some interesting things. So what would you like to make then? You want to make a, like a, a dessert or an entree or an appetizer? Mm -hmm. what, what, what are you thinking about? Well, one, no Japanese food. No uh, Japanese food. No Japanese food. Okay, I love Japanese, make food. Japanese food. I love Japanese food, but... When you're in a bad mood, you definitely, you, I think you really want your country's food. Yeah, some home, and some yes, home food. Yes, some, some home cooking. Home, home cooking, cooking, yeah. Home cooking. Now, meat is very expensive here, so sure. I think a dessert. A dessert. Would probably be the best thing. Yeah, then, you have a favorite dessert? Carrot cake. I see. That's one of my favorite desserts carrot as well. Cake. I do carrot love some carrot really cake. Good. You know what? Living in Japan, it's a tough thing to come by. Yes, you, you definitely find it. Yeah, you can't just go to a regular bakery and get some carrot cake out I here. I missed that. I missed that. Yeah. So let's make some carrot cake. Oh, okay, cool. I have a very good recipe. Really? Yes. Fantastic. Well, you are in luck today, so we are going to make a carrot cake. Cool. All right, we yes. are back. Magic. Yes. After we've done our shopping, so we are going to move in now. We've got all of our lovely ingredients. You can look down and see everything that we've got here. We will be introducing it, and uh, why don't you take it away? Tell us what we're going to be using uh, and how much of it okay. we'll be using. Uh, first of all, this is carrot cake. Yes. Carrot cake means we need the bomb carrots. Carrots. Delicious carrots. So how many carrots will we use? Three. You will need six. Six, six carrots in total? Six medium carrots. Maybe yeah. you won't use all of it, but you'll use most of it. Yeah. You'll use most of it. So six medium-sized carrots. Okay. You will need a lot of eggs. You will need six eggs for this cake because okay. we're going to make a big cake. So we'll just use a half dozen? We won't use yes. the whole thing? Yes, oh, a okay. half dozen, yes. Uh, we will need sugar. We will need... Ba, 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 ba. 
Two cups of sugar. Two cups of sugar. Yes, it's not a sweet cake. We've got two different kinds of sugar over yes, here. Yes. So we, we've got the, uh, what do you call it? This is like just like this is, green this sugar. Is, what do we, I, I, this I forget is plain what we call this. White sugar. White this sugar. Is plain white sugar. So this is white sugar also, but this is powdered it's sugar. It's white sugar, but it's, it's very, it's not grainy. It's powdered it's sugar. It's very powdery. So they call it powdered sugar and white sugar. This white. cake will have a cream cheese frosting. So we have cream cheese. We and will a lot have of sugar. a lot, a of, lot sugar. of sugar. So <laughs> we will need one, two, three. We will need three, how much? three packs. How many cups? Three packs of, sh of cream cheese. So basically that is almost three cups of cream cheese. Really? It's, it's, each one of these is just one cup? Yes. Really? It's only one it's cup? It's 200 grams. 200 grams. 200 grams makes one cup. Really? Yes. I thought that was 200 milliliters. It's close enough. Really? It's close <laughs> enough. Do Wait, not Graham. question me. <laughs> I Graham, am the no, chef. No, no, no. Graham, Graham. I am the, the chef. Now, this is, this the is a thing that my, my wife and I, we, since we're coming from two different yes. units of measurement, yes. so grams is a measure of weight. Yes. Not a measure of volume. Yes. So cup is a measure of volume, though. Yes. Because you could have uh, one cup of sand, yes. and you could have one cup of feathers. Yes. But the grams would be very different. Yes. So how many cups is this? Do you know? I don't like you. <laughs> We're going to use three packs. Three We're packs. Not all of it, but most of it. Okay. All right. So what else we got here? So we, we got... have the powdered sugar and the cream cheese for the frosting. Now we have oil. This recipe does not use water. It does not use milk. You need oil. Yeah. You will need two cups of oil. Volume. Uh huh. Volume. Yes, you will by need volume. Two cups of oil. Two cups of oil. I don't like him. <laughs> you will also need raisins. Um, I think a cup and a half will be good. A cup and a half of a raisins. Half so this good. is mix of raisins and yes. other. So raisins are dried grapes, but sometimes they have white grapes. Then sometimes they have purple grapes. They have red grapes. So this is a raisin mix. It's yes. a little Japanese, but it's raisin mix. And they have all these different raisins in So it should make the cake very delicious. And last but not least, we have the flour. We need flour. Flour is going to be maybe four cups of flour. That's a lot of flour. Yeah, it is a lot of flour. How big? How much? How, uh, how big is the actual cake? I see we've got. Oh yes. We've got our like materials here for yes. making making stuff. Yes, this is a cake pan. Now with the cake pan, what you have is I have stuff in here. I'm sorry. You have a cake pan, and when you make the cake, you put the cake inside. You cook it for an hour, and when you're done. You just lift it up, and it makes it easier Ooh, to come out. Look at that. Do not burn yourself. It's very <laughs> easy to do it all the time. Now remember, if you cook, if you follow this recipe at home, you can do it with any kind of baking pan you yes. want to. It doesn't. You don't yes. need to have any specific, really nice caking cake yes. making equipment yes. like this. So what else? What other? We've got. And we've got last, the ingredients. What else forgot, do we have here? I forgot about this. Well, this is baking soda. And we've baking got... soda and vanilla flavoring. This is to make the cake bigger, and this is to make the cake delicious. So make it vanilla, delicious vanilla e flavor. <laughs> <laughs> delicious, big, big, delicious. Pretty good, pretty good. So for ingredients, this is basically it. It's not a hard cake. It does take an hour to bake because it's very heavy. And we've got two layers. Yes, so we're just going to take two hours to bake. You have to put one layer in, because this is a small oven, we put one layer in, we let it bake. Then we put the other layer in, we let it bake. And then we make the frosting. And then, and then we, we put eat. on the cake. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> eat it. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm looking forward to this. Yes. Uh, we haven't had carrot cake in so long. Yes, carrot cake. I'm really excited. All right, you want to introduce any of the other materials we've got here? Um, no, yeah. this is a whisk, or you can call it a mixer. I like whisk. I used to work in a kitchen. Yes, whisk is the regular term for this. So this is the noun. This thing is a whisk, whisk. and you whisk like this. It's also a verb. Yes. This is a strainer. You can put flour inside and make it mixer. It has holes in it, so it's very good for cooking. Do you know why people sift flour? It makes it... Fluffier or something? No, or it mixes the... the ingredients. Huh. So if I put flour and sugar... I don't know if it's mixed. Sure. If I put flour and sugar, they become one. Sure. So it's it's better. The cake comes out better with this. Sure. 
So this is a, a standard uh, kind of strainer for sifting things. Some of them have a, a wheel on the side that you can kind of mix things together. But like I'm that. poor, so we get the. Well, cheap it's stuff. okay. You know, this is just fine, just fine. Yes. We've also got some yes. measuring cups over here. This is to measure out the tablespoons, the teaspoons, and half a tablespoon. I love this thing. It makes my life very easy. <laughs> and anything special about this? This is a scoop for rice. <laughs> This is very useful. It is very useful. You don't useful. use it just for rice. Yes, but it happens to be a rice scoop. Yes, but I can use it to mix. That's true. And it won't break. That's it's true. very certile. I love Japanese um, um, equipment. It works very well. I know. It's very high, high I'm quality. sorry if I'm cheap. I like I, to I, use I, I, I use the same thing. I use my hand for everything. I use that is nasty. String. Don't touch the cake. You are not allowed to touch the cake. <laughs> You are going to sit in the corner. I will. Well, and what's this though? We got oh, like a this weapon is to in make here. A, it is not a weapon. It's it looks gonna, like it, like a throwing star. You are a child. All right. <laughs> I this, am kind of a child. This you know. is a cake decorator, so you can make the cake look all nice. So as you can see, there are little ridges, and it makes the cake look all nice and fancy and pretty. So making a design, you can drag it around yes. the outside of the cake and then make a lovely and cake. And if you're design. a child, you can use it as a weapon. That's true. Oh my god! And last but not least, we have our mixing bowls. Two, because one is never enough. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Me too. So, um, as for our ingredients and our weapons, apparently, this is what we're going to be using. So, about 25 minutes of prep time and then two hours of baking. Okay. And we should be done. So, we're going to fast forward in time travel and we'll show you the finished ingredients. Yes, we will be like Martha Stewart. We have everything all prepared and then, well, and then we show everything all done like that. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not Martha Stewart. Well, I didn't say you are Martha Stewart. It's okay. a like, you know, it's, no, it's no. a metaphor, no. you know, an idea. See you in two hours. Yes, we'll be, we'll be back. We will go through as we're making the recipe, and then we will come back at the end while we're eating it. And hopefully you can make the same thing. All right, let's move on to, to the actual baking. Let's go. <laughs> so the first thing we got to do is wash our, our grubby, dirty hands. Yeah, Let me get, grubby, I know yeah. my hands are a little bit dirty. I wash my hands over here. Whoa. So when you're cooking, the best thing to do is to prepare everything first. This is the prep. That's just the short, easy way to do it. So you prepare everything first, and then you can bake everything or cook whatever it is you're making yes. very quickly. Just let me know if I'm in your way. No you're, problem, you're the man. No problem. First, we need to shred some carrots. And by shred, not cut them, we need to shred them. So we take a shredder like this. And we just put it in the bowl as so and just shred. You can also call this grating the yes. carrot. You don't want to have really big chunks or big pieces of carrot in the carrot cake. You just want to have the nice carroty flavor. Yes. I remember the first time I tried carrot cake yeah. uh, and I was really surprised at how good it was. I had not expected like a kind of vegetable to make a good cake, but it's really, really fantastic. It does not taste like carrots. It, it do does yeah, not actually, taste like carrots. It doesn't taste like carrots, actually. So we're going to grate all of these. Do you want me to grate some of these? Mm, there's so only can, one grater, but yeah, sure. You can, you so can basically it becomes like that after you grate it. It's pretty easy. Yeah, go ahead. Go to town. All right, here we go. Well, do you want to use the 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 food processor? No, because the food processor will turn the carrots into juice. Okay. We don't want juice. So a food processor, this is a machine. It's kind of like a blender for dried food. You don't want to make it up into a uh, like a liquid, so you just want to get a nice smooth pieces here that we're getting from grating the carrot. So if you look behind me, uh, we're using a microwave oven that's also an actual baking oven. We're setting this to, since we're in Japan, it's 180 degrees uh, in America. Fahrenheit. Well, Fahrenheit would be 375. Uh, <laughs> I don't this know is, math. This is Celsius. So depending on where you're cooking, remember that. That can be very tricky. So now we got to break our six eggs. But how I many? That's more than six. Three, six, seven. <laughs> it's seven eggs. You know what? You know what? Just because you said that, we're going to use seven eggs. Okay, we're that's fine. If you like an extra, extra egg tastic. I don't like him. I really don't like him. Everybody so, likes me. Six eggs. All right, six eggs. eggs. Six eggs. <laughs> Crack your eggs. Crack. Now, Richard is very cool. He can do the one handed cracking of the egg. I tried that sometimes, but I just get the shell all in the 
Look at that. As soon as you said it. I know, you got some you shell in there. You got some shell in there. Now right now he is beating the eggs. This is to mix them up, to beat the eggs. Now, we need oil. So this is one cup and we're going to use three. Wow. It, is a, it, is a, it is a lot of oil. It's a lot of oil. <laughs> but because of carrots, when you cook with them, it makes everything really, really hard to and you need a lot of oil to make the cake soft. Mm. Let's use a, let's use two and a half cups because I put in an extra egg. So that that you, you think that's okay? I'll yeah. trust your judgment on that. You made how many times have you made this recipe? Like I don't know, like maybe eight. Eight times. Yes. And where did you learn this recipe? Mm -hmm. uh, online. Oh really? Yes. What is there like a particular site you you like to use? Um. I like allrecipes.com. Yeah. Also, my my old boss was a very good chef, and he and he always gave he gave me a recipe book, uh -huh. and it, it, it I use it to this day. Yep. So, vanilla, you need uh, three teaspoons. Three teaspoons three of vanilla. Teaspoons. Usually, when people are cooking, one person is kind of the main cook. The other person that's the helper is the sous chef. So this is a person. That's you are kind not. Of, you are just a helper. No, nah, I'm a sous chef. You're, that's, that's you're the a kind of, That's the cool. The cool word. For but it. you're not sous cool. Chef. So you're just a helper. Okay, I'm just a helper for Good. today. But Good. I will think about it myself. I, no, don't. Big so in we there. are going to put the raisins in now. Because okay. raisins are kind of hard, and we want them to be nice and soft when you're cooking. So we're gonna put them in the in the egg and oil mixture, and they're gonna soak up the oil. And they're gonna get nice and soft, well softer. Fat. Yes. They're gonna turn into grapes again with flavor. Oily grapes. That that sounds horrible. That sounds disgusting. It looks delicious though. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited already. I think it's a hundred grams. A hundred grams. So we put in two hundred grams of raisins. Okay. If that's not correct, the raisins aren't essential to this recipe. You but can they make put, it taste delicious. They do make it taste delicious. You can put nuts. You can put other things into the recipe Coconuts. as well. Coconut if you like Coconut that. But the essential thing for carrot cake is the carrot. So now I'm losing steam over here. <laughs> Do it. Cook. I still got one more to go. You you want to eat? You want to eat? You gotta cook. I do. That was the rule in my house. Yes. If you want to eat, you have to work. I can't feel my hand. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about your complaints. <laughs> Keep going now. When you make a cake, the cake sticks to the cake pan. That's why you put in this plastic sheet. It's called cooking paper, and it makes the cake come out. The first time, it makes everything so much easier. So we put one on the bottom and we put this long sheet on the side. So when you're mixing it, just make sure it's all nice and mixed. And the carrots and everything mixed with the, the liquid. Thank you. So now we need to do the powder. Now we are going to use our strainer. Pass me the strainer, please. You want me to wash this? No, it's already washed. I washed it when I was home. You sure? Please wash it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to mix the flour. So how much flour are we using? We are going to use ba -ba 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 four cups. Four cups of flour? Yes. Okay. So how so much sugar are we getting? We're going to put in two cups of sugar. Wow. Last, we need baking soda so the case is all the cake rises and it's all nice and pretty. So this is half a teaspoon. So I'm just going to put in a little bit at a time. One. Just get it all in. That's half a teaspoon. And let's mix. So, when you mix, mix a little bit. Now, a lot of times when people are cooking, they get excited about this part right here. This is called the batter. The batter is when we are making a cake. This is the wet, dry mix before we bake something. It's the same thing with pancakes. We're going to fill in our first pan. This is a lot of cake, so you never fill the cake up all the way. You always fill it up to halfway because the cake will rise, the cake will grow, and if you fill it up too much, it will overspill. It will spill over the pan and you will have a bad day. So, let's just put this in here. 
So, this is our carrot cake before it's cooked. Now, we're going to take this bad boy and we're going to put it in the oven. So, we are going to do the frosting. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when you make cheese, cream cheese frosting, your cream cheese has to be, I washed my hands, soft. If you touch it and it leaves an imprint like that, you are fine. You cannot make this with hard cream cheese. If you put it in the refrigerator, you will not be able to mix it. And you got to mix this with powdered sugar, the sugar we bought before, the sugar we bought before, and you got to mix it with vanilla flavoring. So this whole packet is 200 grams. I'm going to drop this all, remember, 200 grams with a G. So as you mix the powder in, the cream cheese gets softer. Yay! Yes. Mix and the color and it, is changing a little bit. Yes. It turns, it went from a white to a nice yellow. So, you got our cream cheese. Now, we're going to put our vanilla flavoring in here. How much do you use? Do you need the yes. measuring cup? Yes, please. It's very strong, so one is enough. Thank you. So, we're going to put half on half. We're going to use the entire thing, but since there's just a lot of powder, we don't want it to go everywhere. just want to just mix it in there. When you have a cake and you want to check to see if it's done, you take a nice ice pick or a regular pick. I'm going to use the ice pick since it's longer. And you stick it right in the middle of the cake. Now, right in the middle, if it comes out clean, you're good. If it comes out wet, you need to put it back in there for another 5 to 10 minutes. And voila. Excellent. Thank you. All it's right. great to have a helper. Look at that. So you got this paper around here. We got to do something about this paper. So take the paper. And thanks to this paper, we got our two cakes. Yay! Look at that. And then you spread the frosting out, smooth it out, looking very beautiful there. Yes. And this holds the cake together, and it's delicious. Two birds with one stone. So, and bam. Wow, look at that. It's like a giant cookie. So what we're going to do now is put everything and just fill up the hole. Now, I'm not going to make a pretty cake. That's fine. We'll just make a, something we can We're going to make a delicious cake. Yes. Yeah. Welcome to our lovely cake. Yay, yes. we'll hold this up here. Wow, this is heavy. <laughs> this is yes. heavy. Oh my this is yes, like it it's is. like it's like five pounds. Oh yes. it's beautiful. It looks just fine. Right. Well we will we will sit down and enjoy this and uh, I don't know, should we should we show ourselves eating the cake? Is that is I that think the that's last torture. Bit? You think that's torture? I is think that that's is mean. that too is that I think mean? That's mean? Should we not do that? I don't think we should. Okay, do that. well we, we will we will leave it here, but uh, I'm sure the flavor is is beautiful. Well, we, they probably want to know what it tastes like. Though. Okay, maybe we'll do it. Maybe. maybe. Okay, maybe. we'll 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 put it down. We'll get some plates, and then we'll we'll see what it tastes like. Yes. You want to cut into it? Yes. Let's get the party started. All right. So I think I want to cut. So you guys can see. Now you so. think you could eat half of that? No, God, no! I can eat like <laughs> one piece and then almost die. Okay. Okay. Well, you get it. You get it going over there. Oh, look at that! Oh. oh. Look at that! And that is American carrot cake. Yeah! Oh, oh my goodness, look at piece. that. Oh my god, yes. Wow. And that's... This brings back memories, yes. I, I, I tell and you. I, I swear. cut a piece for myself. Okay. Yes! Oh, very good. Look that's at this. That's what the inside of the cake looks like. Yeah. With the cream. The layers. Everything. It's amazing. It's delicious. I'm going to put the knife over there. Alright, here's a fork. Thank Cheers. You. Let's stick in. Cheers. Here we go. Let's see what we got here for some... Oh, we gotta get the the I cake, good. I the cake good. and the frosting here. I hope it's good. I'm happy we put in raisins. It is nice with the raisins. It is nice with the raisins. Oh, I feel bad for my wife who is holding the camera right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we've got we've got a huge piece of cake waiting yes. for you, so yes. you can ha come have some of this after you're done. Well, I hope I hope you've enjoyed making this cake with us. I will come back very quickly in just a moment for the special mission homework assignment for this month, and we will get back to eating some cake. Homework. Yes, yes, yes. Say bye bye for this month. See you. Bye bye. 
I'm going to keep eating. Mm. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> well, I really hope you enjoyed that cooking lesson with Richard. It was a lot of fun for me. Definitely a real treat for me to make something that I haven't had in a really long time. And I hope for you that you try at home. So you can really feel the English as you're cooking with us. You can try baking things and remember to talk to yourself. You can talk in your head or you can talk out loud. Now I am opening or I am cracking one egg. And you can speak along with us. So listen as we talk and answer questions. Really use the video that we just saw to really practice your English, all of the things that we're saying, and you will start seeing uh, improvement much, much faster in your English. You'll also have a really nice cake to eat. It was an interesting recipe, even though we did kind of change it around a little bit, but I hope you have fun making it at home. If you want to really try something even more interesting, you can bring some people over to your house, you can watch the video together, or you can even try making your own kind of special thing, whatever that recipe is, but doing it with some people in English. All right. The new Master English Conversation version 2.0, we will have more conversations just like this, more interviews, and we will also be doing more things in English as I go out and meet more of my friends and do more things in English so that you really get a good sense of how we use English when we're actually speaking. So look forward to lots more surprises and fun episodes coming up in the very near future. All right, for your special mission homework assignment for this month, it should be a very easy one. What I'd like you to do is find a cooking show online. You can watch it online or you can watch a TV show if you live in America or another English-speaking country and follow the recipe. At least watch one episode. You can watch more than that if you like, but really take your time, find something interesting that you can watch and try to actually make something. Don't just sit and watch the show. Actually get involved. Talk along with the people that are making the food. You can watch Martha Stewart. I mentioned her name before. Or find anybody else. There are many popular chefs and other people that have cooking shows. And there are also specific shows that deal with uh, an entree or a dessert or anything like that. So find something you're interested in and try to make at least one thing by yourself or with other people this month. Have an excellent month. I really hope you enjoyed this new lesson set. I really look forward to even more new surprises and new things to come with Master English Conversation as we move into version 2.0. Continue to let me know what you think of the episode, what you think of the whole lesson set, and we will continue together to make it an even better program to help you learn English and speak more confidently faster. Have an excellent day, and I will see you next month. Bye-bye. No matter where you live in the world, how old you are, or whether you've struggled to learn English in the past, click on the button on your screen to download a full set of powerful video, audio, and text lessons, and start speaking fluent English today.